Hey everybody, time for another Plan With Me video for a new month. Um, let me show you just real quick in case you missed it. Last month's um, set up, I printed out a photo and sort of used that as my like cover page for the entire planner because I have these cool frosted plastic um, tab dividers and um, cover page from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy and um, so that's the same idea I went with this month. I went with this plus the idea I did um, in my week weekly plan with me video you may have seen where I used Carrie Harling's Canva sticker tutorial to make a couple of stickers for some areas I wasn't using on my weekly spread. So I made some more Canva stickers um, and I these ones are just designed to fit the spaces that I need them to on my monthly setup. Um, I'm gonna be using this um, month on a fold out tracker. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, from My Summer Touch. And then I should have written down the numbers of the inserts. If you don't know and you wanna know and you want me to tell you, comment below and ask me. Um, but basically this one is the, uh, these are all Peanuts Planner Co, right? So this is the monthly grid, you know, grid monthly, but I'm only using the left half. This is the same setup as last month as well. Um, and then this is like the cover page. So I have this list monthly with dates and then my context list on the other side. So first I'm gonna just start by cutting everything. This is the side without cut lines because I only wanted to print it on one side and the side I wanted is the side that does not cut lines. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, once you do your first cut, the second cut you just do by measurement. Actually, use this last month's version to kind of gauge my measurements. It looks like it's folded along this line here. When I'm cutting my fold out inserts, it's generally smart to fold them before you make this final width cut because I do want the, the edge on this side to be the right length. These ones are just too narrow to cut because <laughs> um, I can't hold onto the paper underneath this ruler, so I'm just going to do it by hand. And then this one is actually supposed to be like two, no, three, three millimeters wide, but Canva wouldn't let me make it that small. So. I just thought this was a fun little piece of um, photography. It's a better print quality than last month's, um, which had all the stripes, the inkjet stripes on it. It was a simple matter of going into the printer settings and just clicking high quality. <laughs> um, I had tried something else where I was like photo printing and that just didn't work. Um, 
this did and it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. So I don't have to decorate this side. I, think I like the whole like lock, door lock thing on there. It's like, you know, the front door to my planner. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I was pretty clever coming up with that. Let's begin with a couple swatches. Do we want this one? Yeah, definitely this one. I'm gonna do numbers. here is designed to fit this little extra stripey at the bottom. Last time I stamped on a monthly, I ended up with ink on my block. All right, I'll put this here. There we go. That's, you know, as good as I can do. And I think. sort of an accent color. Then on this side, this one is designed to cover up the 31. We will be highlighting our week our weekends with the All the hard work was just in getting the right sizes for the little stickers and then printing them. All right, on this side, this final sticker is for this block here. And again, we have the, the lock on this side. So that was fun. Then we're gonna use the brown pen for my contexts. and go back to my original uh, contexts where I list errands. Um, I think it's time because I know for one thing I do need to get my car smogged at some point before the end of July. Uh, so that needs to happen. Now I didn't print out any stickers for this side. Um, and to be honest, I didn't actually decide what needs to be tracked on here either. It's, it's one of those things. So like, eh, there's a lot of, this entire section here, uh, I, I wanna get rid of because it was a great idea, but uh, maybe, maybe I will continue to track water because I'm thinking about making drinking more water my like monthly resolution towards my New Year's resolution of health. Um, I've been doing okay with the exercise and so now I think I want to move on to some more diet things and I'm going to ease myself in with just tracking water 
So I think that's what I will do. Um, but I want to sit down with this and like mess around with it a little bit more before I commit to anything. So let me just highlight the weekends because that does help. At a glance, I can see where I am in the week. And then just include, I believe this will work. Ooh. Or this. No, yeah. It's really more of this color, this aqua. This is just a little bit of washi tape as an accent, and I reserve the right to add more once I decide how big or how many uh, things I'm tracking. Because I'd rather track fewer things, because even if it's something simple that I do every single day, still sitting down and deciding, oh, did I do the thing? You know, every single day, it just adds an extra layer of stress to it. But on the other hand, I do want to make sure that I, like, it's important that I take my vitamin, even though I usually don't forget because I take a gummy vitamin and it's delicious. Um, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'm not entirely sure and having it on a tracker somehow helps me remember better. Even if I don't track it as soon as I take it, I don't know why. So that's, that's my conflict in my head as to what do I include. Let me know in the comments below, what do you track and what do you find it's better if you don't track? Like, I think we probably all in our planning careers have tried to track something that just ended up being a disaster to try to keep uh, tabs on and ended up just causing more stress <laughs> than it was worth. All right, so this is where I'm gonna leave the tracker for today. Um, like I said, I'll work on this and it will show up in future videos. So subscribe so you don't miss those. And actually, I think that's everything. I'm not doing anything fancy for my uh, weekly cover. I do need to do something because I have the, you know, the clear frosted tabs. This is what I did for May and it was a lot of work. Uh, so it's not going to be a watercolor. <laughs> I know that much. I might print something out. I might move something around. I might just steal this guy because he is teal and brown um, and he makes a good cover for this. So something along those lines. But in the meantime, let's take a look at how this looks. I will replace May's. Probably put this back as soon as I'm done because I still have a couple more days of May as I'm filming this. All right. I wanna see how this printed artwork looks. There we go. So we open it up. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have a little door lock there. The fun frosted di uh, divider cover thingy. And yeah, I like it. I hope you guys do too. If uh, you have any questions about how I did this, I will link again the um, tutorial that Carrie Harling did that I just followed. Um, but you know, if you have specific questions, let me know. I can probably answer how, at least you know what I did. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday or on Thursday whenever you tune in. Enjoy the end of May. I hope that life is that something in your life is returning to some semblance of normalcy just to keep you sane. Thank you for tuning in and following along in my journey of falling apart as well along with you. So enjoy your time. Bye.